ordinarily, if we know that a series converges, we don't get any insight about how quickly it converges. Like, is the 1,000th partial sum a good approximation or not? There's no way to know in general. With alternating series, there sometimes is. Suppose we have a convergent alternating series. And what's more, we can show that it's convergent using the alternating series test. Remember how we defined convergence? We defined convergence in terms of the partial sums. So, if this series converges, these partial sums approach some limit. And this infinite sum equals this limit. We have a theorem. In this case, that the absolute value of the limit minus the nth partial sum is less than a sub n plus one. Let's try to look at an example to nail this home. Here is an, the alternating harmonic series. This was our example in a previous video where we used the alternating series test to show convergence. So it's alternating, converges, satisfies the conditions of the alternating series test. But what does it converge to? What is this sum? Suppose we want to numerically approximate it. Suppose we need to know L, and we need to be pretty accurate. We need our accuracy to be within one, one, B of inth, let's say. So we want to use partial sums to estimate this limit. And we want this level of accuracy. Well, one one b of inth is a sub one b of inth. 
So according to this theorem, if we have S sub 999 million, 999,000, 999, the difference between the limit and this partial sum will be less than one one b of it. And what is this partial sum? Well, it might seem intimidating to find this nth partial sum, you need to add together 999 million, 999,000, 999 different numbers. But modern technology makes a sum like this trivial to take. I got this using Wolfram Alpha. And what our theorem says is that this partial sum is very close to our limit. The error is less than this.